Yarny. Hi, and welcome to another Yarny tutorial. In this video, you'll be learning how to make these adorable chick in the eggshell keychains like this that you can actually open and take the little chick out and put it back in the eggshells. So the keychain is actually an added part and it can also just be used as a small decoration or toy. The stitches and techniques used are very simple. They are the magic ring, the single crochet, the increase technique, the invisible decrease technique, and the chain. We will make sure to go slowly on each of the stitches and techniques at least once in this video. If you're unfamiliar with these stitches and techniques, make sure to watch our channel for slow and detailed tutorials. We'll be linking these down below for easy access. In terms of materials needed, you'll need acrylic medium number four yarn in three colors. So I'm using the Red Heart brand yarn in acrylic medium number four. I'll be using the yellow color for the body of the chick and then the pink color for the shell of the chick and the orange for the beak of the chick. So you'll also need a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook and also some safety eyes that I got from Amazon. So small safety eyes and you will need some scissors to cut the yarn and basically any fiber fill or anything you can find that can be used to fill the body of the chick. Let's start. We will be starting with the body of the chick and therefore I'll be using my yellow colored yarn. The first one will be doing a magic ring and six single crochet inside the magic ring. In order to do the magic ring, we'll put the talon of our yarn on top of our hand like this, going to grab the working yarn, which is the side that's attached to your ball of yarn, wrapping it around your two fingers, coming to make a cross like this. Make sure you're holding on to both tails of the yarn like this so that the cross doesn't move. Now using your hook, going under the cross, grabbing the top left portion of the yarn, you will pull it forward with the hook. Now at this point, your hook is facing downwards. What you want to do is twist it upwards so that it forms a loop on the hook. Now you will use your crochet hook, going to grab the top left portion of the yarn one more time, and you will pull the yarn through the loop on the hook, just like this. Now by doing so, we have completed our magic ring. Now the next step is to do six single crochet inside the magic ring. Now hold your ring like this and then insert your hook inside the circle, going to grab the yarn, pulling it back through the circle. Now wrap the yarn around your hook to pull it through both loops. And this is how you do a single crochet inside the magic ring. I'll do five more just like this. So I have my second, then my third, then I will do my fourth and then I have my fifth and I will do my last one here to have six single crochet inside the magic ring. Now we have the tail of the ring here. We will pull onto it so that it tightens the magic ring like this. Now we're ready to move on to round number two, which is simply increase six times. So an increase is very easy. We're simply inserting two stitches in one stitch. So since we have six single crochet, so six stitches after round one, we will insert two stitches in each of the six stitch. And at the end of round two, we will have 12 stitches in total. So we will do 12 single crochet and two single crochet in each stitch. So in my next stitch here, I'll insert my first single crochet and this is my first one and in that same stitch I just did my single crochet I'll insert a second one so this is my first increase two stitches in one stitch moving on to my next stitch I'll do another increase so one and two now I have my second increase. I'll do the third one, two stitches in one stitch. So my first, and then my second. Now I have my third increase. 
and I'll go ahead and do my fourth increase. Two stitch in one stitch. Now I'll do my fifth increase. Two stitches in one stitch. And my last increase. So two stitches in one stitch. If you still see a hole in the middle, just pull on to the tail to tighten it. Now you have 12 stitches after round two. For round three, we're going to keep increasing the circle here and we should have 18 stitches at the end of round three. What we're going to do is essentially a single crochet in the next stitch and then an increase. And we're doing that six times, meaning single crochet increase. This is our first combination and then single crochet increase, second combination, single crochet increase, third combination, single crochet increase, fourth combination, single crochet increase, fifth combination, single crochet increase, sixth combination, essentially alternating between single crochet and increase. So my first stitch is a single crochet. And then my next stitch is an increase. So two single crochet in the same stitch. Then followed by a single crochet. And then an increase again. Now a single crochet. And then an increase. And so on until the end of the round and I should have 18 stitches in total. Now for round four, it's quite straightforward. All we're going to do is 18 single crochet. So it's one single crochet in each stitch. And since we ended up with 18 stitches after round three, we will do a total of 18 single crochet. So my first single crochet and then second single crochet and so on. I'll do one single crochet in each stitch until I reach 18. Now for round five, we're going to keep increasing the size of the circle. And after round five, we should have 24 stitches in total. So to achieve the 18 stitches to 24 stitches, we're going to do a combination of two single crochet followed by an increase six times. What this means is in the first stitch of our round five, we will do one single crochet. Second stitch of round five, we will do one single crochet. Third stitch of round five, we will do an increase. So this is our first combination. Then we will do single crochet, single crochet, increase, second combination, single crochet, single crochet, increase, third combination, single crochet, single crochet, increase, fourth combination, single crochet, single crochet, increase, fifth combination, single crochet, single crochet, increase, sixth combination, and we will arrive at 24 stitches in total. So I'll do my single crochet the first stitch, single crochet in the second stitch. Then my third stitch is an increase, meaning two single crochet in the same stitch. So I have my first single crochet and then I'll do a second single crochet inside that same stitch. Now I'm back to single crochet in the next stitch and then a single crochet in the following stitch. And then we're back to an increase. So two single crochet in the same stitch. Now single crochet, single crochet, increase. I'll just do this 
until the end of the round and I should have a total of 24 stitches. Now after round 5, you'll start to notice that your project is starting to curl up like this. Just make sure it's on the right side facing out, meaning if you see these rounds here, all these spirals, this is the side that's supposed to be outside. And on the other hand, this here where you only see the bumps all around, you can't really clearly see the rounds. This is the inside of the project. All right. Now, for round 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11, it's very straightforward. In each of these rounds, we're going to do single crochet all around. That means after the round 5, we ended up with 24 single crochet. So in round 6, we're going to do 24 single crochet. Round 7, 24 single crochet. Round 8, 24 single crochet, round 9, 24 single crochet, round 10, 24 single crochet, round 11, 24 single crochet. So we're simply adding to the height of the body of the chick. To make it easier, since we're doing basically 6 rounds of 24 single crochet, you can simply count 144 single crochet. Since 24 times 6 rows, is 144 stitches or you can use a stitch marker or keeping track of your of your rounds but just make sure you have six rounds in total of 24 single crochet so from round 6 to 11 we want 24 single crochet in each round So I have just completed round 11 with single crochet all around or a total of 144 stitches. So your body of the chick should look like this. Now, before we move forward, we will just put the eyes of our chick using the safety eyes. And so for the safety eyes, we're going to put them between round six and seven. So you can count your rounds. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six. So between six and seven here. So I'll just insert my first one. And then your second one can be four to five stitches apart from the first one. So one stitch, two stitch, three stitch, four stitch. So I think four stitch looks actually pretty good. So I'll simply insert it right there and secure it. So after the eyes are secured, before we finish off the body, we can work on the beak. The beak, you will use your orange colored yarn. And we will not be sewing on the beak, but we will work on it directly from the body. So if you have your eyes on this row here, you just want to make sure your beak is right under the eyes. So on the round, right under the eyes. So you can insert your hook in the stitch that is right below the eyes coming out like this. Put your orange yarn on your hook so that it pulls through. Now just make sure that you hold on to your orange yarn and then what you want to do is simply do one chain. So wrap the yarn around your hook and pull it through the loop on the hook like this so you have your first chain. Now just pull onto the tail here so that it's secured. Now we will do a single crochet in the next stitch, meaning you will insert your hook inside the next stitch coming out like this. 
and then wrap the yarn around your hook to pull it through the stitch like this you have two loops on your hook wrap the yarn around your hook to pull it through both of the loops just like this so you have your first single crochet we're going to do another single crochet inserting your hook in the next stitch coming out in the following like this and then wrap your yarn around your hook to pull it through you have two loops on your hook now wrap the yarn around your hook to pull it through both loops just like this so basically you did two single crochet now what we want to do next is simply turn the head like this and then you will simply do one single crochet in the middle stitch here inserting your hook wrapping the yarn around your hook to pull it through the middle stitch and wrap the yarn around your hook to pull it through both loops so you have a single crochet and now we will finish it with a slip stitch so what you want to do is simply insert your hook under the last stitch and then you will simply wrap the yarn around your hook pull it through the stitch and also through the loop on your hook just like this now you can simply cut the yarn and just pull onto that last stitch and what you want to do is just use your hook to hide these orange tail inside the body so you can insert your hook from the inside going to the outside and then pull the yarn inside the body and now this end stitch here is a little outside so you just want to pull it closer to the body first like this and now use your hook going inside to the outside and pull that orange yarn inside the body and if you want you can just attach the two tails of the orange yarn together so that it's secured So now we have our beak and we can move on to continue working on the body of the chick. So we only have three rounds left for the body. Now for the next three rounds, what we're trying to do is close the body. So we will be decreasing the number of stitches. So after round 11, we had 24 stitches in total. Now for round 12, we will have 18 stitches in total at the end of the round. What we're going to do is essentially two single crochet followed by an invisible decrease. And this combination, we're going to repeat it six times all around, which means next stitch will be a single crochet. The following stitch will be a single crochet. And then we're doing an invisible decrease in the following stitch. Then single crochet, single crochet, invisible decrease, and then single crochet, single crochet, invisible decrease, and so on. So I'll start with my single crochet and then another single crochet. Now we're going to do an invisible decrease. Invisible decrease is very simple. You're going to insert your hook under the front loop of the next stitch. So instead of inserting your hook in the full stitch like this, you will insert your hook under the strand of the V that is closest to you like this. Now you will immediately insert your hook under the strand of the V that's closest to you. So the front loop in the next stitch as well. We're essentially merging two stitch together. Now you will wrap the yarn around your hook to pull it through the two front loops. 
Now you have two loops on your hook. Wrap the yarn around your hook to pull it through both loops. So you have your first invisible decrease. Now we're going to move on to single crochet. And then single crochet. Now another invisible decrease. So working on the front loops only of the two next stitch. And then back to single crochet. Single crochet. And invisible decrease. So we're simply going to do that for the entire round so that we reach 18 stitches in total at the end of the round. Now before we move on to round 13, since the rounds are getting smaller and smaller, before we shut the body, we do want to fill it. So make sure you use your polyfill or anything you have to fill your body. I'll be using my yarn scraps because I don't have any polyfill and I'll be filling my body with it. So for round 13, we're going to keep decreasing the amount of stitches. And what we're going to do is alternate between single crochet, decrease, single crochet, decrease, single crochet, decrease all around until we reach 12 stitches in total. So if we're doing a combination of single crochet, decrease, that would be one combination. We will do it six times. So I'll start with my single crochet. And then the next stitch will be invisible decrease. And then back to single crochet. Invisible decrease. Single crochet. invisible decrease and so on until the end of the round. That's what I'm going to do until I have 12 stitches in total. So I've just completed round 13 and I have 12 stitches in total at the end. I would say before round 14, which is the last round, make sure you fill up your body of the chick because this will be your last occasion. Round 14, we will end up with six stitches in total at the end. And to achieve this, we will do a decrease six times. So I'll have my first decrease. And then I'll just keep doing the decrease stitch six times in total. And then I will have six stitches in total at the end of round 14. So after round 14, this is it. We will simply cut the yarn. You can leave a little tail and you will pull onto your last stitch like this. And then we will simply use the crochet hook to weave in this end a little bit. So just go around your stitch and pull on to the tail. I also like to do a knot to secure the last stitch, just like this. And then you can keep just weaving in the tail just a little bit. So you don't have to weave in the entire tail, just a little bit before you cut the yarn. And basically you have the little chick that is completed. So before we move on to the shell, you can leave your chick as is, or you can do like me and add a couple of hair on top. So I like to use 
the color of the shell and put a few hairs obviously you can use any color you want you could simply use yellow as well to do the hairs or you can just leave it without the hair so i'll just cut a few six inch yarn like this i'll cut six of them And what I'm doing is very simple. I'm essentially inserting my hook around this, between the first and second round here on top of the head. And I just pull on to the yarn from one side to the other. Just like this. And once it's pulled, I just simply do a little knot on top like this you could do two just to make sure it's fully secured like two knots and i keep doing this all around the top head here So after I'm satisfied that all my strands are attached on top here, I'll just use some scissors and cut the top here so that it's trimmed to approximately the same height for each of them. So by doing so, I have little hairs on top of the chick. Now that we have completed the chick, we will set it apart and we're going to work on the eggshell now for the eggshell i have decided to use the pink colored yarn of course you can feel free to use any colored yarn you would like and so it's pretty simple we will be doing two pieces of the shell and merging the shell together so the first piece we're going to do a magic ring and six single crochet inside the magic ring so i'm simply working on my magic ring and now I will do the six single crochet inside the magic ring so one two three four five and six so now, after my six single crochet in the magic ring, I will pull onto the tail to shut the magic ring. And now we're essentially going to increase the circle and we're going to increase six times. So remember, increase is simply two single crochet inside the same stitch. So I'm working on my first increase here. And then I just completed two single crochet in the same stitch. So I'll move on to my second increase, which is two single crochet in the same stitch. And I'll do this for a total of six times so that at the end of round two, we will have 12 stitches in total. So for round three, what we're going to do is increase the number of stitches. We went from 12 stitch at the end of round two, we want 18 stitches at the end of round three. So we're going to do single crochet increase, single crochet increase, single crochet increase all around. So simply alternating between single crochet and increase until we reach to 18 stitches in total. So I've completed my first single crochet now I'm on my increase, which is two single crochet in the same stitch. Now back on to the single crochet and increase. And I'll just keep doing that until the end of the round.
Now for round four, we will increase the circle again, going from 18 stitches from round three to 24 stitches at the end of round four. To achieve that, we will do single crochet, single crochet increase. So that's a first combination, single crochet, single crochet increase, second combination, single crochet, single crochet increase, third combination. So six combinations of single crochet, single crochet increase so that we will have 24 stitches in total at the end. So I have single crochet and then single crochet again. And then I do an increase, which is two single crochet in the same stitch. And then single crochet, single crochet, and increase. So I'll just keep doing the single crochet, single crochet increase until the end of the round. So I have 24 stitches in total. So after my round four that I just did, I ended up with 24 stitches in total. For round five, we want to increase the number of stitches to 30 stitches in total. So to do that, we will do a combination of three single crochet in a row followed by an increase, three single crochet in a row followed by an increase, meaning single crochet, single crochet, single crochet increase, single crochet, single crochet, single crochet increase. So this combination, we're doing it six times all around to reach 30 stitches in total. So I'm starting with single crochet and then again, single crochet and then again, single crochet. And now I'm at my increase. So two single crochet in the same stitch. Now single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, and increase. So I'll just keep doing this single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, increase all around until I reach 30 stitches in total. So I've completed round five and I have 30 stitches in total around. Now for round six, seven, eight, and nine, so the next four rounds is going to be very simple. All we're going to do is 30 single crochet in each of the next round. So round six, 30 single crochet, seven, 30 single crochet, eight, 30 single crochet, and nine, 30 single crochet. So if you're scared of losing track, you can use a stitch marker, or since we're doing four rounds of 30 stitches in total, it's four rounds times 30, so 120 single crochet in total. So that will be the end of the bottom of the eggshell. So go ahead and do your next four rounds of 30 single crochet each. So I've completed round nine and the bottom of your eggshell should look like something like this. Now go ahead and cut the yarn. You can leave a long tail. So I left about this long of a tail. What you're going to do now is just to pull onto your last stitch like this to secure the stitch. And then we're just going to do an artificial stitch so that we don't see this little bump here. So this is your last stitch that you worked on. And logically your next stitch that you would be working on if you haven't cut the yarn would be this one. So you're going to skip the next stitch. In this following stitch here, you're going to insert your hook from the inside to the outside like this. And you will grab on to the piece of yarn, pulling it inside like this. Now we're still going to not be working on the stitch that we skipped. We're going back to the last stitch we worked on before we cut the yarn. So you will go under the back loop only. So instead of your hook going on the full stitch, so two strands of the V, this is two strands of the V here. Instead of going under the full strand, the full two strands, you will go under the back loop only. So the side that is farthest from you and 
you will go on to grab the yarn again, pulling it inward like this, just like this. So this creates some kind of artificial stitch here and we don't really see as much of a bump. So now we will leave this aside and we will work on the top of the eggshell. So put this on the side and the top of the eggshell, by the way, is uh, very similar to how we did the bottom. It's just the top one will be slightly different in the sense that we will work so that there's a little bit of a cone shape, just like when we see the eggs here. So now for the top of the shell, you will still take your pink yarn or whichever color yarn you decided your shell will be. And round one is again, we will do a magic ring and six single crochet inside the magic ring. So I'll work on my magic ring. And then we will do six single crochet inside the magic ring. So my first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. So after that, as usual, you will make sure you pull onto the tail to shut your magic ring. And now again, we want to increase the size of our circle. So what we're going to do is increase all around. So increase six times, meaning two single crochet in each of the stitch to arrive at 12 stitches in total at the end of round two. So after round two, we have the 12 stitches in total. Round three, very easy. We're going to do 12 single crochet in total. So all around the round three, we're simply going to do single crochet. So after round three, we have 12 single crochet around still. For round four, we're going to increase the number to 18 stitches in total. So we're going to alternate between single crochet increase, single crochet increase six times. So single crochet and then increase. So this basically is my first combination of single crochet and increase. And then I'm back to single crochet and then increase. So I'll just keep doing that until I have 18 stitches in total at the end of round four. So I've achieved 18 stitches in total for round four. Now for round five, very easy. We're going to do single crochet all around. This means we're going to do 18 single crochet in total. Now for round six, we're going to increase the number of stitches to go from 18 from round five to 24 stitches in round six. So then that means we're going to do a combination of single crochet, single crochet, increase six times. So single crochet, single crochet, increase, single crochet, single crochet, increase, and so on until we have 24 stitches in total. So single crochet, and then single crochet, and then increase. single crochet, single crochet, increase, and then I'll just keep doing that until the end of the round so that I have 24 stitches in total. So for round seven, we're again going to increase the number of stitches. We're going from 24 stitches in round six to 30 in round seven. So to achieve that, we're going to do a combination of single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, increase. So three single crochet, increase, single crochet, single crochet, increase, single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, increase. So first single crochet, 
second single crochet, third single crochet, and then increase back to single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, and then increase. So I'll just keep doing that until the end of the round. So I'm just done with round seven and I have 30 stitches around round seven in total. For round eight, nine, and 10, it's going to be very easy. In each of the next rounds, we're going to have 30 single crochet in each round. So in round eight, we're going to have 30 single crochet. And then in round nine, we're going to have 30 single crochet. And then in round 10, we're going to have 30 single crochet. So if you're scared of losing track, three rounds times 30 stitches in total, that means you're simply going to do 90 single crochet. So I've just completed round 10 with the 30 single crochet. And this is basically the end of the second piece of the eggshell. Do not cut your yarn because we're going to use it to join the two pieces together. So your bottom section of the eggshell and the top section of the eggshell together. So to join the two pieces together, leave your hook inside the last stitch we worked on of the top piece of the eggshell, so the second piece, and take your first piece, which is the bottom piece, and remember the artificial stitch we worked on. You want to insert your hook under the full artificial stitch from the inside of the shell to the outside like this. Now to join the two pieces together, you want to insert your hook now under the top piece, which is the second piece we worked on, in the next logical stitch you would have worked on if we haven't cut the yarn. So just insert under the full stitch. Now you will wrap the yarn around your hook so that you pull the yarn through both of the stitches you just inserted your hook under. Now immediately make sure you pull the yarn through the loop on the hook and this is basically a slip stitch. And now your two pieces are joined together but we want to do four more slip stitches. So you insert your hook from one side the full stitch here to the other. So under the full stitch of this piece here, the bottom piece, and then the full stitch of the top piece like this. Wrap the yarn around your hook, pull it through the two stitch, and pull it through the loop on your hook for a slip stitch. Now we're going to do this again under the full stitch of the bottom piece, under the full stitch of the top piece, wrap the yarn around your hook to pull it through the two stitch and through the loop on your hook. And one last time, so under the full stitch of the bottom piece and under the next full stitch of the top piece, wrap the yarn around your hook, pull it through the two stitch and immediately through the loop on your hook. So just like this, basically you've joined the two pieces together and now we're basically ready to cut the yarn. So again, just pull onto it and then to secure it. Now what I like to do is just work a quick knot. So insert your hook under the next stitch here and then pull onto the yarn you just cut, making a loop like this and grabbing on to the tail end to make a knot. So this secures the stitch. And I also like to work basically the, this end of my yarn through the stitches, weave it in all the way so that it comes on this side so you can attach the two tails together. So you can do that. So see this piece was essentially here in the beginning. I've worked my way through to meet this end here and I'll simply do a couple knots just to secure everything.
Once this is done, I'll simply cut the extra yarn off. And I can also cut the extra yarn from the inside of both ends here. So you basically have your little eggshell here that you can open and close. Now just play a little bit, stretch the top a little bit so that it's not such a straight cone, so that it's a little bit rounder. Now you have your little chick that you can essentially put in your eggshell and leave it open like this or you can work on shutting it just like this so for the keychain part obviously you can use one of those metal rings and you can attach the rings on the top and the rings i'm sure you can get from amazon unfortunately i do not have any of those metal rings for the keychain so i'll be using a piece of yarn and it's quite simple you insert your hook from the inside on the top there coming out and then you just grab onto the yarn pull it inside like this and then you do the same thing on this other end here insert your hook on the inside coming out on the top pull your yarn in and then you can obviously decide how long you want the keychain to be and then simply attach making knots and then maybe do two or three knots so that it's properly secured like this and then when it's properly secured you can simply just cut the extra piece And basically you would have a little hanging piece here so you can put your little chick in and just like that you have a nice little chick in an eggshell that can be opened and closed as a keychain thank you for watching don't forget to hit the like button and also to subscribe to the channel for more content. See you soon!